in this case let's take a look at the euro pound and the euro pound if you look if you see here we had a structure long point at the 8066 and our long point was the 8066 right now we are at 81 oh seven so we're already about 50 pips above that and keep in mind that the euro pound the pip size is 1.6 so that's about a hundred pip move in actual normal terms so that's a pretty decent move which again shows us that the now this is a nice setup here again the this is the close on friday it went above the momentum high which is the 8115 uh, and it came back and it closed the week at 81707 8107 now that 8107 is one two three four five cell signals i mean there are five cell signals put together and all what we got is this minor decline so that is the bias is definitely still to the upside and we'll be looking to buying it and my long point is only four pips away it's not a big deal the 81 right there so we're pretty much right there this is our buy so we're going to buy the euro pound easy now we're going to buy it above 81 That's going to be our structure long point. And of course it is going to be our stop. And on the short side, I really, I mean, I, uh, the first place I can think of taking it short is below here. So, if it comes below here, so our short is going to be 8096. The next structural short point is the 80. 66 and if we go short below 8096 so I, I'll put my stop right above those several highs which is the 8112 okay so for the euro pound we're going to buy it above the 8115 and if that's going to be my structure long point and my long stop on the short side I'm going to go short below 8096 and if I go short below the 8096, that is my structure short point is 8066, and my stop is going to be the 8112. Okay, that is the euro pound. Let me save that.